Hi everyone, I have got a new Stitch Fix box. I know it's been a long time since I got one, but I'm so excited that you guys are here to share it with me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. So anyway, I have got a Stitch Fix box today and I'm so glad that you guys are here to join me. I hope everyone had a great Christmas and a great start to the new, th new year. I wish everyone health and happiness in the new year ahead. But anyway, I have got a Stitch Fix box and I don't, I haven't got these in a while. It's, I just really don't need any clothes in my wardrobe and the last two boxes that I've got I just there was nothing for me and so I didn't even even fill them but anyway this one sounded like an easy one um, I you know I really should take advantage of it because I did pay that $49 already so I would probably want to get a few stitch fixes in before uh, July when it cancels out and I probably will not renew because I just I just don't need anything. But they are fun sometimes. Sometimes in, in the beginning, oh my gosh, we had a lot of five for five boxes. We got a stylist that kind of got to know your style and it was really great. A lot of things have changed. Um, stock once COVID hit and changes in the company and they didn't have stock and it just it just kind of for me went downhill from there I see other people still get awesome awesome boxes but anyway that's it well, let's get into it so again I paid the $49 style pass if you don't have one I will have my link below if you've never used stitch fix before you would get $25 off your for the box anything that you decide to keep that $25 would be applied to anything that you get the $20 styling fee would also be waived if you use somebody's link now a lot of people if you watch us you know sometimes stitch fix sends them a special link where they get a hundred dollars that they can pass on to a subscriber or someone someone new or fifty dollars so if it is anything you are interested in doing I and you know you watch a couple of different people that do stitch fix look for their links because anytime you can save it's awesome but anyway they send you a preview um, there's like 10 items and you can pick up to five of them you can decline all of them and just give your feedback what you didn't like about it what you're looking for things like that once you get the box you've got five items in here your styling fee is applied to anything that you purchase and then you just if you keep all five we call that a five for five which used to be a very frequent you would get 25 percent off everything in your box all right so let's take this tape off and show you what the inside of the box looks like and i do have some jewelry and that was something that was in my preview that I decided I wanted to try that. You're going to get a prepaid mailer. It's got the envelope on it for UPS. You can, anything you don't wish you keep, once you check out, you're gonna put anything you don't want in here, even if it's just to exchange it for a different size. It goes back through the US Post Office. You can, it's always good to kind of go in and get a receipt that you sent it back so that if it does get lost, you don't have to pay for everything. Or sometimes if you're lazy like me, you just have them come to the house and there you've got a receipt right there. Alrighty, so inside the box you are going to get the dreaded invoice right here. So this is my Stitch Fix number 49. Everything in my box is $258, which isn't too bad Stitch Fix wise. Um, if I were to keep everything, I would get a 25% discount. So $64.50 would come off. My total would be $193.50 for all five items. Not bad in the stitch, stitch Fix world. You're also going to get, oh, hello. And it's going to be your stylist note. It's going to show you everything that's in your box. And different ways that you can style it and I usually don't read my note but it's been such a long time since I've got one that I figured I would do it so just to see who my stylist is so it says your style delivered hi Nancy happy fix day number 49 my name is Ripka 
I see you didn't get a chance to peek at your fix preview, which is wrong because I did select two items that were in my preview and gave reasons why I didn't want the other ones back. So either she didn't read it or no one passed along that memo to her. But, and I'm just looking through here and both items that I picked out my preview are in here. So who knows what that's about. Be on the lookout for an email from us so that you can preview your next fix. Alrighty, so that said, we already did that. And uh, since I did not have any specific request for today, which she did because it was in my preview answers, so that kind of lets everything I need to know about my new stylist. Okay, so we'll just move on from there. And we will be right back. All right, so I am back with the first item, actually two items. This first item, I'm gonna hold, try to hold it up a little bit better for you. These are the earrings from Nakamole. I've got one in, but they are very pretty. And again, these are called the Gramercy Stone Drop Earrings. They're calling it light blue. And these are $38. And whoops, wrong ear. And I've got one in right here to show you how it looks on. Alrighty, this next item is the Clarina, the textured sweater um, in taupe. This is one from Fate. This is one that I did pick out for my preview. It's got like this kind of marbling right here on top with a kind of two yarns going through. I've got it on with just some velvet legging, so it is a nice length for tunics. Be nice with just regular slacks. We've got that same kind of different yarn here on the cuffs, so it is very pretty. This is $68, so if this were, focus please, a 5 for 5, 25% off that $68 would make it a lot reasonable. $68 for this just sweater, it's nice, but... I don't like it enough for to pay full price, but we will have to see what the other items look like to see if maybe if we are headed in the right direction. We will be right back with the second sweater. Alrighty, so back with the second top. This one is a navy. It does have a wider neckline right here. Not quite a boat neck, but it does. It's a little bit different. This one is the Market in Spruce. It's the Tawny Cotton Blend sweater in navy this one is also $68 this one is at least machine wash and dry the other one was hand wash lay flat to dry so that does kind of make a difference too when you're looking at things and how much care you want to give your items but anyway so this is a navy so it's got the different stripes in here it does have a nice fit um, everything lines up I'm just not sure if I'm liking it $68 worth. So we've got another top to go. So we will be right back. Alrighty. So we are back with this next one. This one is from 41 Hawthorne. It's a Cappy Cutout Ribbed Knit Top. This is in dark purple and it is $44. These little cutouts don't bother me. They're it's like kind of heights where your straps are, so that's no big deal. It is ribbed. It is a pretty color. I love the color. $44, and it really basically is t-shirt material. Just ribbed t-shirt material. Um, it's the kind of sweater that's going to kind of cling to everything that you don't want it to cling to, if you know what I mean. I do love the color. Um, I love the concept. $44 for kind of like a t-shirt material. No, not quite for me. So let's do the last one. Alrighty. So I'm here with the last outfit. I do like the color combination. This is 41 Hawthorne again. No, it's not. It is. Sorry about that. It is the Market in Spruce. It's called the Kira Space Dye Fitted Rib Tee. It's in blue and it is $40. This one is gentle, uh, gentle cycle, lay flat to dry. And again, I, I do like the colors. It's a nice stretchy material, but it is on the idea of like a t-shirt material. It's, it's not definitely winter weight. It would be a layering piece, which if, you know, it's thin enough to get a cardigan over it, but $40 for basically a t-shirt. You see where I'm going with this. But anyway, the pattern 
is nice on this. And we do have like teal and blue and some navy in there. And again, that's a kind of material that's just going to cling to you every lump and bump that there is. Um, and I, I know we all kind of struggle with this. We all understand that Stitch Fix is a service you're paying for a stylist to curate boxes for you. So we do know that there's going to be an added cost in there and it's going to cost more than going to the store. But of course you may not, you're wasting your gas, you're wasting your time to go to store. So it's kind of, maybe it, it evens out if there's items in here that you like enough to pay that money. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be keeping any of the tops. Again, this one uh, was $40. It's Gentle Cycle, which is a fine with me, lay flat to dry. I hate finding places to lay things flat to dry. This one is pretty, and this one is the uh, 41 Hawthorne, and the, the cutouts there, if I can find it for you, at the shoulder. They do make it fun. I do love the color, but again, it just seems like it's, um, you know, $44. This is hand wash, lay flat, um, and again, it's kind of on the idea of a lightweight t-shirt material. Um, this next one again it's pretty and this one was the market and spruce it's the tawny cotton blend uh, wafer type waffle material um, it was comfortable on it's hand wash this one is machine wash uh, lay flat to dry and again it is pretty but for me I just don't think it's worth $68 for me anyway alrighty and this last sweater here Again, this is one that I picked from the preview. I think it's a really nice sweater. To me, it's it's just not $68 worth. I'm not going anywhere. I'm working out of the house. It is pretty though. This is hand wash, lay flat to dry. It's $68. It's from Fate. And it's the Clarina textured sweater. So it is pretty. I do like the way the yarn up here goes with the, the two-tone, the way it's blended how they carry that on to the hemline and on the cuffs. It is pretty just for me. It's just it's just not worth it for me to spend $68 on it. The item that I will keep though is I am going to keep these Nakamo earrings for $38. I've got a couple of Nakamo earrings from Stitch Fix. I do love them. There's some nice pieces. And again, so for $38 this is the item that I'll be keeping. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. Usually I am not this decisive. Okay, the last two fixes, I have been that decisive. Some of them I didn't even try on. Yeah. But anyway, um, I'll have that link below. I know some people have some really, really good luck with Stitch Fix. I think just finding this a stylist that um, gets to know you. And that's hard when they keep moving people around. Um, I didn't even finish reading my stylist note because she obviously didn't read my feedback, told me that I didn't, I missed the preview when she picked things for me that I picked out that were in the preview. So again, just, I just don't think that communication was there. Did someone else start the box and then she filled in for the last items? I don't know. So that kind of turned me off right there. But anyway, it was still fun getting to talk to you guys and trying on a few items and who knows maybe next time they will be another keeper so anyway take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have fun happy to meet everyone and we will see you in my next video not sure when it's going to be I think i'm going to take a little bit of a rest love you guys so much Bye bye